what's going on guys so we're gonna make fun of some people if you've been in the game long enough your spectrum is probably gonna start skewing towards one certain area now there is a good chance you're gonna fall into one of these categories and if you're offended by this you should probably figure that out because uh, if you can't make fun of yourself then what's the point starting right off at number one we have military cloners that I will take full responsibility for whatever heat the cloner boys decide to throw my way for not being perfectly cloned correct. So these kind of people will spend a quadrillion dollars trying to replicate a rifle that they've seen a specific unit use or they use in the past in their service. I think this is actually kind of a kind of a cool way to be autistic about guns. I can definitely see the appeal. You can understand that some of these parts are so freaking hard to source Wait, and people thing will spend their money? entire savings account to replicate the coolest marketing version they can um, they can find was used in theater i know for a fact it was used in theater a lot of these rifles do end up being pretty fucking based but in practical in a way these people will go to the craziest of details they'll even print out the little stupid government issue stickers that go on guns most of the times i gotta admit i love this kind of stuff and I'm somewhat on the spectrum as well, but don't get me started. These people will not compromise for lower quality or different branding. Everything's gotta be exactly spot on. Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? And number two, we have the plebs. Now, these people are the cheapest of the cheapest. It is okay to be cheap on certain things, but these people absolutely do not understand the line between cheap, inexpensive, and absolute garbage. The best spot to find these people are sites such as the Palmetto State Armory review section. You're gonna start seeing anodized parts, anodized charging handles, anodized controls, just pointless stupid shit that has absolutely no reason to be on a firearm. Secondly, you're gonna start finding the most inexpensive garbage tier optics, if we even gonna call it that. We're talking about the $50, $30 Amazon red dots that are gonna lose zero as soon as the gun is taken off the bag. Also known as Amazon Warrior, not only does this extend to firearms, but it also extends to the gear itself. Hell no, man. There is nothing wrong with saving money and finding gear, but there's also is a way to do so correctly. We talk about this in this channel. Go look at some of the older videos. There is such thing as inexpensive quality stuff, such as gear and certain firearms accessories, but you can understand there is certain things that you cannot cheap the shit out of. And number three, we have arguably one of the worst category and we have high beasts. If you think I spent cents more than $20 for the hat, go fuck yourself. What's up, boy? These people oh, will spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars for fake high piece tactical companies just so they can risk out them on other websites months later. We see this with brands like Kilo New York City, Fog, GBRS, or whatever they're called. I'm talking scum of the earth. These people offer no value to society, no value to the community. All they care about is making a profit and wearing stupid shit. Nobody never knows how to recognize to fill themselves look cooler. And number four, we have the Milsim enthusiast. Now, you don't know autism until you met this guy. Hours and hours and hours to research and replicate kits exactly to the absolute perfection. Don't get me wrong, I praise this kind of person. It's really cool to see a nicely, historically accurate kit put together very nicely to detail. You see air software with replicas of radio equipment, navigational equipment, antennas flying all out of their bodies for absolutely no reason. Yes, I get it, it does look cool. But at the same time, people know it's gonna be not functional and it's gonna end up making you look goofy. The counterpoint is that these people are very dedicated, money's not an option, they will replicate that kit, they will find that part. When encountering these people, there is also a very high probability that they are either 13 years old or obese. So much Number five, we have the FUDs. Now, we know this category, nobody likes them. The why would you need an AR-15 or the two world war. Guys, these people have their brain absolutely shut off. They cannot comprehend the modern evolvement of equipment and firearms. They're stuck in their ways. You're not gonna change your opinion, but they're definitely gonna bash yours. Stay away from these people. Don't try to change their minds on it. Just let them be, they'll hopefully die natural causes will take care of them. They're on their way out. So just be patient and FUDs will go extinct in due time. Bonus round, the preppers, the gun stusher. These people will pile 17 AR-15 in a closet, seven AK-47s, 10,000 rounds of ammo. For what reason? 
nobody understands. These people live in a fantasy where they think their house is somehow the most impenetrable fortress ever existed and they can withstand any force this world has to throw at them. There is zero point into having a five metric tons of ammunition sitting in a safe. I don't know what you're planning on doing with that. I understand surplus is good, but I think there is better ways to invest that money. Guys, let me know what category do you fit in. I know for a fact I tend to go on some cloning adventures and some kit replica adventures sometimes. Those can be fun. What about you? How are you autistic about it? Nowadays, I don't even have to impress you with these YouTube videos. All you have to do is impress the YouTube algorithm to help me out, give me a like, send me a comment. Let's chat about it and I'll see you in the next one.